how's vacation? How's everybody doing? Oh, good. The airlines lost my bag. Like, lost, lost, it's gone? Currently, I don't know where it is. They're supposed to let me know today. <laughs> oh, no. Just Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions with the Edits. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and watch you see content. Thanks to our patron, follow us on Twitter, and you can bang, follow us on person, YouTube channel, link in the description below. And today, uh, the reason we're like this, if you didn't, if you skipped the intro because you're a doo doo face, uh, yeah, doo I'm out of town, been out of town for a little while. Um, but obviously, a new trailer dropped. And so we are here, and it's a new Fafa trailer. The year of Fafa continues. The year uh, of Fafa. Uh, but this is, uh, we've seen, I think it was a teaser for this one. Malik, right? And yeah, I believe yeah. it, I believe it was supposed to come out in May, and it, it got pushed back. Yeah. I think they were hoping for a theatrical release, uh, is what I think they were hoping for. But they, uh, we know for a fact it's coming out on, I think, July 15th uh, on Amazon Hopefully now. that's... On Amazon. Yeah, and hopefully theatrical releases will be able to happen soon because the thing I read today on, on Times of India was that they've had like a hundred straight days of decreasing numbers now with COVID. So good, 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 good. May that keep going. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so we saw the teaser for this. It looked really, really good. Fafa looked, uh, you know, not unsurprising, almost unrecognizable. He, I think he had a big old beard. And I think it's based off of he's beard. playing, he's, I think he's playing like a, a true story or true character right. at least. Uh, true person, yeah, I from, think so. From what I remember. So let's just get into this one. Um, you ready? Ready, ready. Three, two, one. ാണ് <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh. For all ages, then. So, that, really? I just saw that too. Yeah. All ages. That last shot didn't look like it should be for like Leland. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know what the obviously rating system and censorship are completely different. But I, so I don't know what the rating system is like in India. But normally, when somebody's bashing somebody's head in with a crowbar, it's not not an all ages type of thing. Maybe it's just a trailer. Maybe that was just a trailer. Maybe I don't know. I think I think it may have just. So this is this is interesting because he's playing. I'm guessing this is going to go chronologically through his life, similar to like what we just saw with um, um, Kamal Hassan and uh, uh, Gangs of Philosopher. Oh, it kind of goes yes, goes through yes. the life of this gangster, right? Uh, it looks like that to me too. Which is interesting because I don't we've not seen Fafa play that style of character yet. No, and. I mean, he's he's already one of our favorite actors and is just becoming even more so with the, every role we see him do. He embodies it in a completely different way. And it looks like he goes through, at least in this teaser, he looks like he's he goes through some pretty, not just the beard, but some physical transformations. He looked pretty lean yeah. in some shots. Um, so I, I just, it, the, the sound was, for this the teaser... The sound was excellent, yeah, and the sound editing. So if that's a, a sign of what things are going to be like in the film, uh, I mean, we're going to be excited for Fafa anyway. But this looks good. Yeah, we're obviously going to watch this when it, whenever it, I think it drops on mm -hmm. the fifteenth. 
we're not going to miss a, a Fafa film, but uh, this is directed by Mahesh Naraya, who, uh, let me see, did he direct cinematography director? Okay, he was the director of See You Soon. Uh, he was the edit. Oh, okay. He was the editor of Nayatatu. Nay, Nayatu. With interesting. Um, so he, I think he was. I think he's an editor first and became a uh, yeah. Did director. Did he edit? Um, see you soon as well as direct it. Yes. Because I thought I remember seeing something yes. recently. That's what I thought. And, yeah. And he edited this. So he I, he's an editor first. Um, yeah. This is one of his first directorial ones actually outside of see you soon uh a lot of his other credits are editor interesting interesting yeah and it seems like they did those if not back to back relatively close to one another this malik and and see you soon yeah were in the same time span yeah so he wrote directed and edited uh this film right uh Right. Oh, and it's it. also starring uh, Joju George, who was in Nayat. Ni- 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 oh, who yeah. was in Nayat. Ni- yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I always forget how to pronounce that name, but yeah, he's in this one. We've seen him, I believe, in just a few other things. Um, it's a Malayalam, f- like Mal- Malayalam film. June 15th. Is that. Ju- I'm sorry, July 15th. Is that also when Tufan comes out? I don't know. Tufan. Is that what it's called? Tufan? Uh, Far. Huh. Far. Huh? Yeah, Farhan Akhtar. Uh, I wonder if that's going to be like a big weekend for uh, for films. Um, to, ooh, fun. It comes out. Sorry. July 16th. Okay, so th- oh. this one comes out July 15th. Too fun comes out July so it's a big, 16th. That was smart because they made it a weekend, a Thursday, Friday release, so you could go bang, bang. And they're not releasing on the exact same day, so they got dedicated release days. And for they're the two they're both Amazon. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. But yeah, it looks really, really good. Obviously, with Fafa, I'm I'm just gonna be. He looked like he almost carried himself differently in some of the scenes. Um, like the very few actors, Gary Oldman, Daniel Day Lewis. Um, yeah, Nawaz, yeah. of course, can carry himself different like that as well. This seems like a very Nawaz style role. Uh, in terms of like it does. the the gangs of Wasapur, um, chronological and you know, of course, beating somebody with a crowbar is a very Nawaz thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> very Nawaz thing. To do. I think you made you made it early on in our introduction to Fafa. You made a very astute observation, and it still holds true. I, the the actor that he reminds me of in terms of his uh, consistency and his flexibility is Gary Oldman, and that is a high high compliment because for those of you if you guys don't know gary oldman he is one of the greatest actors of all time and of this generation so probably uh, it's high praise in, in my opinion him. might be the greatest if not top two or three character actors ever character actors a hundred percent supporting character actors. yeah the, the dude can do everything uh anything yep just like fafa um and yep. it's, it's I think somebody said he got in trouble for releasing so many OTT platforms. I think it's like because he's done like so many, and I I forget what the controversy was. I heard something about that too, and I don't remember if it was controversy legally with certain production companies. Yeah, I don't know. Or if it was, yeah, I don't know. It, but anyway, it was weird to me. Um, but anyways, yeah. we're gonna watch this when it comes out. It looks fantastic. Yep. Uh, so let us know down in the comments uh, what we missed and uh, why we're dumb, as you always do, down below. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>